Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today we are in the semi right now, or in the highway tractor, hauling some grain. Uh, this is the second day of hauling some grain. We're hauling some wheat, and it's just to a terminal that's fairly close, so it's not too bad of a drive, but yesterday it was lined up, and I was waiting in line for oh, an hour and a half, two hours sometimes, and it was kind of a bit of a pain, so I brought some stuff to keep me occupied while I'm waiting in line today. So now the first thing I have to do every single morning um, before we drive the, the semi, we have to go around and do our vehicle inspection checks. So that is our walk around, our brake, our brake checks, uh, our under the hood checks and our interior checks, kind of just to make sure that the tractor and trailer are in operating condition and are safe to be on the roads. And once we're done doing all that, we have to fill out our driver's uh, daily vehicle inspection report. This is pretty much just saying that the tractor is in good shape, it is roadworthy, and we are good to go. So I fill this out, and after that is all filled out, I can pretty much put into gear and get going. Waving at some of the people coming into the yard. So I'm gonna fill out this form and then I'm gonna put it in gear and get going so I can hopefully beat some of the rush today. quickly set down the camera there I needed to shift gears and make that turn and I ran out of hands but uh, it is now later on in the day I am waiting in line and editing this video keeping myself busy and I found that I haven't explained myself too well in some spots so I'm gonna go and do some voiceovers to explain it a little bit better so I'm gonna get back to editing and we'll resume so this thing here is called the probe. It goes down and sucks up grain and sends it to the office. So it's taking a sample of the grain. So this one just took a sample from the front hopper of the semi-trailer. And now it is going to take a sample from the back hopper. And it is taking a few samples in each hopper. That way it's getting an even consistency of what the grain should all look like inside of this truckload. So now we are going to dump the air out of the airbags in the back of the trailer. So we are dumping this because when you're unloading grain super fast, uh, those airbags are pressured up for that load that you're carrying. And if you dump it out fast, it will damage those airbags. So we just got the thumbs up to, that we can start dumping. So I grab the wrench. And we just start letting it go out. I'm only gonna let that one go about that much. And I'm gonna switch to the back hopper. And get this one started. I've had it before where it just starts piling up because the pit can't take it as much. So let that one keep flowing. And then manage this one by opening and closing it. So let's open it some more. Okay. 
so we can tell because it's getting kind of chaffy that it was running out so we open it completely and then close this one yep and this one's overflowing oh that's what I'm talking about oh So at this point, I'm sitting in the semi. I have my eye on the gauge that shows the weight on the axles of the semi. And I start to pull forward here because I hit the certain weight that I was looking for. And now I need to start putting grain in the back hopper to allow weight to be more evenly distributed uh, along the trailer. You're only allowed to have a certain amount of weight on each axle. So this way we had to pull forward enough that the grain would be falling almost directly over top of the back, back axles of the trailer. So now for shifting in 18 speed, if we look at the shift column, the first thing you'll have a question about is this. This is your range selector. So right now in the down position, we are in our low range, so we are in one, two, three, four, and we flip this up, and now we're in our high range, so we are in five, six, seven, eight. So when you're going from your gear four, right back here, to gear five, you're gonna have to flip this up to get into gear five. And now, right here is our splitter, and that is splitting each and every gear, so there's a high and a low range in each gear. So say we're in fourth gear, if we want to go to four high, we flip that forward and we're in the, the high end of the fourth gear. And if we want to go to four low, pull that back and we are in four low. So now I come to the stop and I get into first gear. And I go straight back into second gear, start making the turn up into third gear, back into the fourth gear, and flip that range selector up, and then go into fifth, and I push that splitter forward into five high, and then here I gotta pull that splitter back as well as the shifter back to get into six low, and push that splitter forward to get into six high, back and push again forward to get into seven low now into seven high pull it back and pull the shifter back into eight low and push that splitter forward into our last gear So we're just inching along now, getting one truck closer and closer each time to the terminal.
as we can see, but look how long that lineup is. This guy still has to move forward a bit yet, but holy man, busy, busy.